welcome back to my channel. Guys, I need comparable pumpkins. If you watched the video last night and the one the night before, you'll see that I used the comparable pumpkins in the pumpkin topiary. And then yesterday when I went to do all the fabric pumpkins, I don't have any more carvable pumpkins. So weird, I swear I had them up the wazoo. Now the only thing I could think of is they're, if their extra ones might be packed away with the autumn and Halloween stuff. But either way, the other day when I was at the Dollar Tree here in Rolla, they had a box full. Today the box was empty. So who else is buying their pumpkins this time of year? I guess I don't But they were out. So, we decided to buy $40 worth of other stuff. Here's what happens when you bring your husband to the Dollar Tree. He picks up Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. <laughs> hey, they're my favorite. Leave me alone. Um, mine, actually, before, mine, mine. before you sit down, let me show them this. I got a piece of foam board for a project for tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to have him put it away now so it doesn't get fallen damaged. over and damaged. Yeah. Don't put that with you. But... That's right. I'll tell, you, I'll tell them where it is. It's three ounces of mini Reese's peanut butter cups individually wrapped um, for Halloween and they're actually in like like a regular peanut butter cup would be wrapped sometimes minis are like wrapped in foil these are cute they look like they're actually mini like little they're cute and he got two bags so when I find the other bag we'll come across it we picked up some cute Halloween stuff they didn't have the other day I picked up two of these. This is wall decor that looks like stone, like castle walls. I got them for my birthday party for the backdrop, sort of like Hogwarts castle type walls. So I picked up two of those. They are 42 by 72. That would also make a really cute table cover. I'm just saying, that would make a really cute table cover. We picked up the dragon eyes. Now. They really can be whatever you want them to be. But they reminded us of dragon eyes, snake eyes, weird looking Sorry, cat eyes. I was gonna say that. They said, Jimmy was like, I've had enough of Sauron. Um, if you are a fan of the Lord of the Rings, there's that big eye in the sky. But this actually comes with two. And that eye is red and so green. I yes. That. That's okay. Um, I picked nipple. up a pair of socks from my gnome. These are purple, and they have little tiny bats all over them. And the socks. bats have... You're not my gnome. And the bats have little tiny white eyeballs that kind of look spooky scary. I thought they were super cute. The eyes are like metallic, so they're kind of cute. And then the bottom foot part is all purple. I picked up these things the other day. I picked up the house and the, the the happy Halloween one, but I didn't see this one. This is a little tombstone and it says trick or treat. Can you help her? Yes, I do. Can you it's hard for you too, right? Wow. WD-40? Oh, this one doesn't have a... Uh... Oh, but it's... Ouch. Yeah, okay. Um, you had to pick the one with the impossible <laughs> switch. Then. Well, that's okay. Um, if you can't slide it over. Um, they had these, which are new, and I'll insert a picture here. They had um, basically purple sugar skulls for the Day of the Dead. They had... Um, orange pumpkins and they had these skulls which I really love and they have the the changing LED lights so have you mm. watched the color changed here as I've had them sit there I thought they were so cool they look like old candles which I thought was super cool super cool and they go green blue pink purple like all the colors they go so I think you got I picked a up a pair of those um, okay you don't want to turn okay. on it's all right no it's not I want it to turn on I'm sorry. The other day I picked up the stand-up house and I didn't see this. This is like a skull and crossbones, which I thought was super cute. Um, and it is cute. Um, I don't know. And it's got its own little stand and it's like a paintable, standable, do what you wish. I do not. I picked up these from the to dog, dog toy section. 
Um, This is a soccer ball and a tennis ball. This is a baseball and a basketball. And I saw a really cute wreath the other day that I wanted to do. Um, and this is going to be part of it. So it could be an inexpensive wreath. Instead of a dollar a ball, I got two for a dollar. Um, I also found another cotton twine, which I haven't really found at the Dollar Tree in a while. They finally are restocked. You get 320 feet of 96 millimeter. No, that's 96 meters, Never mind even with glasses on. Um, this is cotton twine. We use this in crafting, but it's found in the tool bench section. They had these towels, and I like these cotton towels. I know I've had a lot of people say that they're not absorbent, da 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 da, all different things, but I, first of all, use them just to like dry hands, which I think they're plenty okay with that, but I also use them to line baskets for bread and stuff. This is the kind of towel that I like, sackcloth kind of towels. This one says, more booze, please. And it's a little ghost. He's got cute little glasses on it and blue, green and purple polka dots. I feel like it needs to go in my guest room because my guest room is green and purple. This one was so fancy in farmhouse and it just says trick or treat in a pumpkin. And for those of you who um, I did a, well, I'll talk to the, about the poll later, but I thought that would be cute just to get a couple of towels like this as part of all your decorations. But this one was the best. It is got bats all over it and it says hang in there for those of you having a rough go of it they had these I these are new to me and I've not seen anybody hold them again that doesn't mean that they're not out there I just don't watch a lot of YouTube <laughs> I don't make time um, but there are these Halloween garlands and this one is black and white skeletons so they're really cute skeletons they have like big big heads and big eyes they're really cute and they're just everything i'm sorry they just are and it doesn't say exactly how long they are but the garlands at the dollar tree are usually nine feet so i'm just gonna guess because if they do have the dimensions written on there they're writ wrote, written in black on purple and i can't see them no i don't think the dimensions are written on there um then they have this one that is ghosts and bats and jack-o-lanterns so you can kind of see the jack-o'-lanterns back there and the bats along the bottom. Well, hang the bats over your bed. <laughs> Actually, you should just hang them over my side of the bed because I'm the one getting drove and batty. But this one, of course, is my ultimate favorite and I'm going to open it because I have bats who are a baddie. He's got bats in the belfry, right? Ah! <laughs> this is actually two... It's on a little thin satin ribbon, and it's two separate banners. What's that? Oh, have y'all? Okay. Hold that little ribbon right there. We just move everything over. Thanks, sweetheart. Yeah. Look how stinking adorable this is. It's like a dark orange, almost red. It's got a little cat on this side and a little ghost on this side. They are so adorable. And you know, make the cat nuts. <laughs> and then like this one. That. Hold that, and let's just these. <laughs> this one has. A cat, a crow. And a spider. Wow. Cool. Stinking adorable. Can you do me a favor and put the ribbon ends in my fingers from that happy portion? Sure. I'll take this one. You got it? I'll take this one. Control sure. that. Ah. Sorry. Running away. I am curious to see if they hang together. They kind of do. Actually, right. that's kind of cute. You could do that. You could actually do that. And that would work. We just have to move the H over for the happy a little bit. But I just thought that was so cute for a dollar. Even if you wanted to take them off of their strings and use them, take the animals off, whatever. That's so cute. So cute. So, you could do me a favor, fold it on top of each other and put them away. I would really um, appreciate it. Yeah, but the ends. <laughs> and I get it all pinned up. Which, I'll get it This is all mixed together, as you guys know, when I do holes. 
I found this unicorn. So this looked like a little different series of decorations, of, uh, of costumes, excuse me. Um, they are a Greenbrier brand, but it was just different than the other stuff. Don't trust um, them, they're evil. But he's talking about a TV show we watched called Legends of Tomorrow. And they had a, a, the unicorn was evil and stabbed a guy. Um, <laughs> but this is a headband that has the ears and the unicorn horn on it. So cute. So cute. Um, and then they, the rainbows were like, this fabric was like different. So I made sure I got one with pink on the top. I don't know why, because I just felt like that looked to me more like a rainbow. I don't know. I picked up one more of the red burlap hydrangea. This is like dark, deep, dark Merlot kind of burgundy red. Um, I love them. I bought one bouquet the other day and I wanted to do a project with them, so I picked up another one. I picked up two more burlap pumpkins because I don't have any. I use them all in DIYs. This is the natural color burlap, and I just noticed now that this one is kind of coming off, but that's not a big deal. We can fix that. Um, so I picked up two of those because they had two. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. And again, for a dollar. It's like, how do you beat this for a dollar? So this is a mask. It is like the Day of the Dead kind of mask. So the Day of the Dead is a Mexican holiday. If you've ever seen the movie Coco, which I haven't, I just know it's about that. Um, I believe that that takes place on or around the Day of the Dead. You guys let me know down below in the comments. And I, and I will see Coco, I promise. I'm actually a huge Disney fan. It just really has not been the opportunity to see it yet. So I just thought that this was absolutely beautiful. It's like a hard plastic uh, mask, but it's sort of soft. I don't know how to explain the edges are sort of soft, but it kind of looks like this. Isn't that pretty? I just thought it was so pretty and well made for a dollar. I have a few masks like this that I have a little collection in, top, in my guest room on top of the armoire. And I thought this would make it a beautiful addition. Just beautiful. So it was just beautiful. Um, we picked up these. I feel like I mentioned them the other day. So they came out with reading glasses, magnification on sunglasses. And if you've ever watched me do a shop with me where, or, or something where I've got like the sunglasses on and the reading glasses on the top of my head, I'm going to insert a picture of my sister Julie. We FaceTimed the other day when she was driving. Don't worry, she had the phone on the phone clip, but she was driving around the other day and she had her readers on top of her head while she was driving with her glasses. And I said, I'm taking your picture. And she said, why? I said, because I do that all the time and people think I'm crazy. But anyway, so they came out with readers in tinted, like, like sunglasses. I only picked up the red frames so I wouldn't get confused with the black frames with Jimmy's magnification. So the black ones are for Jim and his magnification and the red ones are for me and mine. And we'll just keep those in the car for time to we need to look we need to look at our phones and stuff. Thank you, babe. I have seen this whole I saw this hold so long ago and I've been looking for it for a really long time. So it's this little tiny drinking bottle with a handle that says cold drinks. It is BPA free. And I liked it because it fits in the cup holder. Um, not the one that comes with the car, but the one that's in my center console. And when I road trip, I like to take water, but the only water cup that fits in there is the Tervis cup. And I don't find it comfortable to drink out of the mouthpiece water because it doesn't come fast enough. So I thought that this would be cute. I, I don't let you know how it goes for me, but I picked that up as well. And this actually was gym proofed. Okay, some bad baby. I feel like we, I, I passed over this sign a few times so far, but I realized that we have the door to our carport that we use on a daily basis, okay? I'm gonna screw that away. Oh, sorry. We have the door to our carport that's what we use to come in and out of the house, but our front door is around it to the right, like if I'm looking at the carport. Next to the carport is the door to the sh like utility closet, and then around the corner is the front door. So every year I have this little homemade sign that says around the corner to the trick-or-treaters. And... Tell me that smart made one. Yay. Right? 
Um, I thought this was super cute. You guys know I'm not a glittery person, but I think that this would be perfect. Um, it says, uh, trick or treating which way, get it instead of this way, to the treats. I thought that was super cute. It's got a little owl up here and two little jack-o'-lanterns and a little witchy poo on her bra. Yes, please. You like that? Can I taste it? It's almost half gone. That's how much I like it. Nature's Fury, new tree drink. It, it is 15% real fruit juice. It has antioxidants and electrolytes. But how much sugar? Gluten-free, kosher, soy-free, nut-free, caffeine-free, vegan, and gluten-free. Practically no... Crap. It has 16, 19 grams of sugar in it, Jimmy. It's not sugar-free. It's not sugar-free, but it's like cholesterol-free. You don't have to worry... Well, that's good. You don't have to worry about that stuff, though. And for how much? 19 sugars for what? How many servings per container? If you can look for me. I don't mean to be negative, but just, no, it's no, not no. something you should have all the time, I guess. Two. Two servings. So that's 36 grams of sugar if you drink the whole thing. That's a lot. That's more than Mountain Dew. Okay? Okay. So, how about how about the buys, though? I thought they were sugar-free. Huh? How about the other company? Oh, I, I thought don't they were know. I okay. I broke down and bought one of these... <laughs> I am in love with this pattern this year. Obviously, I'm always in love with when it says thankful because it's like my motto, right? Um, but I love these with the three different pumpkins and the three different shades and the three different shapes. There's three different sizes and the three different shades. Um, and also with the beautiful trim. And I totally don't need a platter for Thanksgiving. But I have these pretty platters hung up on a plate hook in, in my dining room. I mean, in my kitchen area. And I like to put a holiday platter over it. Can I just give you a bag? Um... Yes, right there. Okay. I've never seen these before, um, but I picked one up maybe just to DIY with, because I'm not a huge, like, light blue teal uh, farmhouse girl, but I know you guys, some of you are, so I thought I would pick it up to show you that they have this. So this is the kind of placemat that's on the rack that hangs on the side of the end cap. Um, at most Dollar Trees, they have, like, the, basically the live, love, and eat one is there and the one that says blessed is there normally um, and then they have other kinds of placemats that are on the floor not on the floor but on the lower counter underneath the towels this one is on the end cap one and it says always stay humble and kind which you guys know I love that um, I actually feel like I put that might have put that on a plaque I put that on a reverse canvas that's what I did um, but this is very, very pretty. Um, again, I'm not a huge, big fan of the color for me and my home and my decor, but it is so pretty. I had to get it. Um, and it's got this beautiful vine around it and this beautiful font. I just loved it. So I picked up one. I found two more of these woven mats. Um, I, I have two, and we talked about it when I bought them, that they only had two. and Actually, they had three, and then one I was going to DIY, but now... I picked up two more, so I have four, which is great. So this would be great for not just autumn. I mean, not just the summer, not just autumn. This is any time you want a natural, neutral placemat. I also picked up the cocktail napkins in that same pattern. Um, I think I'm gonna DIY with them. They just look like they wanna be decoupaged on something. What do you think? I think so. I just feel like it want, it's screaming to wanna be decoupaged on something. You get 24 beverage napkins. I was doing all those fabric pumpkins and realized that I was out of my chamois cloth. So I picked up two. I always call this a chamois cloth. I know it's not. It's super, super soft. Excuse me. It's a super soft microfiber cloth. And I got them in pure white as opposed to the off-white one. These ones are not quilted on the back, they're just regular fuzz on both sides. And we picked fuzzy, up fuzzy, two. Fuzzy. fuzzy, is that everything? Did we do that? Nope, that's the last bag right there. Oh, okay. I picked up two bouquets of these flowers because I thought the color, I, I don't know. It's just these beautiful rusts with like burgundy highlights in roses. And I just thought they were stunning. I I feel like I can't say enough 
I don't know. When the, when the flowers are gorgeous, I just, I, I'm almost like speechless. Now this particular bouquet was kind of squished, but I can reshape them, which isn't a big deal, but I picked up two bouquets. Here's Jim's other miniature cups. And um, did you actually open these yet? No. So these aren't your minis that are wrapped in foil. These are actually miniature cups with papers. Here, look. And they're in their little, little packages. Cool. And he picked up some snack size twizzl Twizzlers to have on hand as well. And I told you that the Reese's were three ounces. The Twizzlers are 4.16 ounce. Those are individually wrapped. So this was just pretending. This is the Greenbrier band brand. This is actually with the dress up stuff. But they had all this, all of this stuff, this whole collection out for Halloween. But I loved these little fox ears. I did. They're so cute. They're so cute. So I had to pick those up. Don't ask, I don't know. And the one that I was on the hunt for for a really long time, oh, for the last couple of weeks, was the deer. Oh dear. Oh dear. Jeez. But the deer is really cute. It comes with a headband, the deer ears with the antlers behind it, and of course the little tiny bucktail. Um, little tiny deer tail. Now the spots on the deer tails that they had at my store were all different. Like we called them wonky because some had like the stickers were falling off and some were missing and some were like not in straight lines. But that just made them original to me, unique basically. Each one was going to be different. So I thought that was really cute, just like a real deer. Nature has no set pattern. Oh, apparently, you got three bags of miniature cups. <laughs> I picked up these ring, these are bug rings. They get 50, well, this is just rings, I'm sorry. You get 50 rings, um, and these are just spiders, but I think there's 25 orange and 25 black. And I just wanted 20, I just wanted little black spiders, but that was not a choice. So I picked up, um, Spray paint. Yeah, or I can do some with orange. We'll see what the orange looks like. And the last thing that I got, so I think this is the last thing, right? Yeah. Okay. So the last thing I picked up was this dry erase board. I think it came out, it must have come out with the back to school stuff, but it is much bigger than the other one. The other one it actually fits in here a little bit. Like I put them, I laid it on there and it fits like only about this size. But here's why I bought this. That right there is a beautiful big square, not even square, it's a rectangle, of chipboard. Um, this is basically what we do our DIYs on. It has no holes, it is a perfectly square shape. It is 11.8 by 10.6, so it's almost square. It's unlike any shape that we've had before, and I thought this would make a great sign DIY stuff. So I picked this up, it was in the jot stuff, in the regular, underneath the pens basically. So I got that too, so keep your eyes out. And that's it. That is it from the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in seeing what we got at the Dollar Tree. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And I have a favor to ask. If you are the kind of person who is apprehensive or fearful of Halloween um, do yourself a favor just do a quick Google search and I just want you to um, not go by your preconceived notions of what you think Halloween is um, like most Christian holidays Halloween was uh, adapted over a pagan holiday uh, through like like we all know Christmas but you know Biblical studies say that Jesus was not born in the winter time, he was born in the spring, but we adapted it at Christmas time because there was a pagan holiday and yada 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 and the Christian church took over and you know just to kind of assimilate um, to make basically make pagans happy. Um, but Halloween is All Hallows Eve which is derived from a Catholic holiday. All Saints Day is November 1st and it always has been um, and then your the, the portion about decorating with um, jack-o'-lanterns and scary things and stuff is to keep the evil spirits away while the good spirits can come back. And that's what All Saints Day is, is about, you know, about um, those who are in purgatory having the opportunity. Just look it up. <laughs>
Or I ask don't want Jim. You, well, I just don't. Jim, you should probably do a video tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm just borrow your phone for Of course, a while. of course you can. I told you anytime. What? That's a great idea. Maybe he. Oh, about the pagan tradition of what the pagan Halloween is all about. Well, no, I mean that's that's really just why we have actually Halloween. Oh, okay. Not from not what the pagan holiday was that we adapted to. But what is what is the reason we have Halloween? So I mean, it's just. Um, but don't just look at like you know any Google search. I'm, I shouldn't say that. Don't go to Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, don't trust Wikipedia. I just meant like get get a reliable source, and you might be able to learn something. So I appreciate that. But listen, as always, you guys take care. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Looks like a video on my past is coming forth. <laughs> So if you stuck around this long, I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I didn't purchase that I thought were super cute. Um, they have tea light holders, and then I got the orange one in the background, but I didn't buy the little Boo Ghost. Now these chair cover things are made out of the same material as recyclable shopping bags. What high quality I was not aware of. And then of course they had some cute LED lights, one with ghosts and one with jack-o'-lanterns which I didn't buy and then these buckets they had an orange version and a black version but I just took a picture of the black version it kind of matched those metal buckets from last time these metal buckets super cute witches ghosts oh now I was really cool because I didn't realize this this stakes came in f different feet <laughs> I'll tell you about that um, then they had the not only the door hangers but all of these cute little signs these are masks with wings, and I thought they were so awesome. It's like, be your own dragon. Amazing. Um, green, red, and I think purple was the first one. These are dinosaur masks. If you just, if your kid doesn't want something over his whole face and just can bear to have something on their nose, these were super cute as well. And then, of course, they have tons of cute little dress-up things. They have bat ears, and they have little masks, and they have... Um, headbands and all these things now i bought the skeleton but i didn't buy the pumpkin and the sugar skull but i told you guys i would share you what they look like and then this was a new wall cling to me it said born to be awesome but i don't have any purpose for that i could have got the awesome i could have used it for awesome but i think i like to leave it for someone else and this was randomly sitting over by the chargers and i thought it was super cute i actually found two over there look at the size of this mug. The mug on the right is the regular large mug from the Dollar Tree. The mug on the left is the size of my face. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye.